So no doubt about it at this point, New York leadership, the government of New York is some of the most foolish on the planet. After the ruling that was just put down against Donald Trump, he is now being ordered to pay $355 million in the lawsuit that was held against him, actually making impacts around the world. I'm going to show you a clip, and, and Kevin O'Leary does a great job here of telling us why this is so bad for New York. If you haven't been following it, Donald Trump's business, his Trump organization, wanted to get a loan from a bank and decided to use its property as collateral. They gave its property a certain value. The bank sent its own adjusters, its own estimators, and they agreed to a certain value themselves. Both parties agreed, and then the loan was given out. Both parties made money. There was no damages. No one was hurt. And the bank actually testified in favor of Donald Trump in this case. But New York State is saying, we don't care. And why? Because they hate Donald Trump. They want to take this guy down. Even Kathy Hochul has had to go out and try to do damage control by telling everyone, don't be worried about this. Businesses around the world, this is just a one and done situation. We're never going to do this again. Don't be worried about setting up your new business in New York State. She literally went out and said this. Kathy Hochul saying that this is one and done, by the way, on its own, is very strange because in my mind, that's showing targeting. What do you mean one and done? You just targeted one person? Honestly, I think that there might be some legal implications to what she just said there. Um, lawyers, if you're listening to this, maybe you should look into that because to me, that seems like there's something wrong there. But let's get to the video clip here because Kevin O'Leary is going to do a great job in telling you how disastrous of a decision this is from New York State. Any normal human being would understand that this is an absolutely ridiculous and like Kathy Hochul said, target decision specifically against Donald Trump to try to do him in. Check out this video clip. Wouldn't there be many companies who would not want to do business or loan money to people like yourself or investors if they know that they can get away with fraud and there's no recourse to protect them? Excuse me, what fraud? I don't. I, this is not about Trump anymore. When you know. get a developer, when you get a developer that builds a building, and he says it's worth $400 million and he wants to borrow $200 million from a bank, which happens every day, everywhere on earth, including every American city. Every developer is an entrepreneur. They shine the light on their building and they say it's worth 400 dollars The bank does its own due diligence, as was done in this case, because they're very good at it. The banks are very good. And they say, no, it's worth $300. We're only going to loan you $150 million. That haggling has gone on for decades. That's how it works. And then... In this case, even, the bank that was supposedly defrauded testified and said, we didn't lose anything. We want to do business with this guy again. We'd like to. But the judge said, no, 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 no. Let's penalize this developer for $355 million. And if we're going to do that, let's penalize all the developers all across America. They've all done the same thing. All of them should go to jail and we should stop building buildings. That's what the message is from New York. Even the governor herself is concerned about what this looks like to investors all around the world. It's not just U.S. domestic. All well, around the world, people are talking about what happened here. You really think people want to invest money in New York after this? How about we go well, somewhere I, I else? Think, how, I think there are to, people who would, I don't want to cut you off, but I, I want to, Converse well, with you, you and said, I, it's, it's only because I want to have a conversation, a, you know what? Kevin, I as opposed you to just you, having you tell you me. I respect you because you're a lawyer. You're a lawyer. You understand well, exactly what I'm talking about. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm respectable for a number of reasons, Kevin O'Leary, but being a, a lawyer is one of those issues. But I'll tell you, when I, when I hear your conversation, and I do want to converse with you about this point, I understand that there are legitimate concerns that were raised during the trial and will continue to be raised about who the quote unquote, what, who is actually bringing the suit? It wasn't the banks who were saying that we as consumers are unsophisticated feel this way, but Letitia James, the attorney general, and I know you want to expand beyond Trump, has suggested, well, it's about making the playing field level for those who are not the major and billionaire investors, but for those who are supposed to put business records out there, want to get a loan, the idea of making sure that they have to have the same true statements included as those who have a lot more money. Is there any weight to that for you? Well, I ask you, who lost money? And I make it even clearer. You and I, we're developing a data center together. And I say to you, we can go to New York where this just happened.
it's your money now. You're now an investor and you're taking risk. You're an entrepreneur with me, right beside me. We're together on the deal. Or I can show you Oklahoma, North Dakota, West Virginia, where the governors actually ran businesses. Let's go there where this never happened before. They have power. They have permits. They've got legislation that's supportive of entrepreneurship. Why would we go to New York? Why take the risk? My only point is, did we just diminish the great state of New York and the great people of New York. And shouldn't they ask for better management so they don't become a flyover state? Remember, New York has the highest taxes in the country, the worst regulatory environment, and it's incredibly mismanaged. And I'm pointing out now on top of that, you get this insanity, a, a victimless crime. And forget about Trump. It's not about Trump. I don't care about Trump in this. I care about America and I care about entrepreneurship and I care about democracy and the fairness. The judicial system is now being criticized. People are asking themselves, the bar of New York, is this judge rational to charge $355 million in a case where no one lost any money? Is that good for the people of New York? Should the people of New York wake up to this and say, what's happening to us? Why is this becoming so perverse? Why are we the focus of this injustice? And I have nothing to do with Trump. I'm not supporting Trump. I'm supporting American entrepreneurship. And New York is slowly becoming the number one loser state in America. One big thing Kevin O'Leary should have said, and I hope he watches this. If one of you know Kevin O'Leary, share this video with him because I think this is really important. This is a legal point that I think is big. If New York State is going to say that the damage is to the little guys, because that's what's being said here, it's not that the bank or the developer lost money. It's the little guys don't get the same advantages, and they're the ones who have been damaged. So we need to sue the developers, and we need to charge, in this case, Trump $355 million. Wouldn't it also be prudent then that New York State should also be going after the bank? Because the bank and the developer did this together. Why just go after the developer? If you are truly saying that the little guy is the one who was damaged, it was both entities that did it together. I don't understand why New York State isn't also taking money from the banks. Well, I know why New York State isn't taking money from the banks, because New York State, I mean, they're stupid. The leadership, the AG, the attorney general, this judge are stupid, absolutely dumb for this decision. This is, just hurts the residents of New York State. It hurts businesses. It hurts development. It hurts so much and for so little. Because Donald Trump's going to probably end up paying this out, and then if he's going to appeal it, he's probably going to win the appeal. Donald Trump's going to make f over $4 billion off of True Social anyway. At the end of the day, this is never going to hurt Donald Trump. And also, it shows the truth that they are going after Donald Trump. They're going after him for petty nonsense, just like he's been saying. So they're actually self-fulfilling what Donald Trump is saying. But New York State did nothing to hurt Donald Trump, but it's going to incredibly hurt itself. But I think that's a good point here. Kevin O'Leary, if you hear this, I'd like some acknowledgement. You can you can say, according to Vin on CNN, the next time you're on CNN or MSNBC or Fox News, brought up a good point. Why isn't the government of New York going after the bank? Why just the developer? That doesn't make any sense if it's the little guy who was hurt by their collusion together. Because that's what's being said here. Send it to him. I know one of you maybe have, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, what do you think about this? How nuts of a planet do we live in? Crazy. Leave your comments below. I'll catch you in the next video.